guys, this is Phineas from Phineas and Ferb here, and I'll be explaining today how a nuclear reactor works and the associated myths that go with them. First of all, what is nuclear power? Well, nuclear power is powered by a fuel source such as uranium-235 or plutonium-239 usually. These elements are usually packed into ceramic pellets and arranged into fuel rods. When a neutron hits a fuel atom's nucleus, the nucleus splits, called fission, into two smaller nuclei, which are called fission fragments. And this split releases energy and more neutrons, which the neutrons can go on to cause more and more reactions inside the reactor space. And the energy is usually released either as heat or gamma radiation. Now you're probably wondering, how the heck do we control all these reactions? Well, with control rods, of course. These control rods stop these fast neutrons from interacting with the fuel sources causing more reactions. Therefore, the power is controllable. It's kind of like how if you go to a bar and you talk to that hot lady, her stupid big friend gets in the water. What you might have noticed as well is that the reactor has a lot of water in it. What the heck is up with that? Well, the water acts both as a coolant and as a moderator. This coolant moderator effect is awesome because acting as a coolant takes away that super hot heat away from the reactor and to a more useful spot where it can be used to, you know, transfer it into energy and stuff. While the moderator aspect makes these high energy neutrons released in the fission that are too fast to be efficient and makes them slow enough to interact with the uranium more efficiently. It is super cool! Now, if you've spent any amount of time researching reactor plants, then this will look completely familiar to you. But for those who are new, the fuel rods heat the coolant, which is usually water or sometimes a liquid metal or gas, and this coolant carries the thermal energy out of the reactor core. In a pressurized water reactor, the hot water under pressure goes to a steam generator, where it heats a separate water loop. In a boiling water reactor, it's a bit different because the coolant water itself boils directly into the steam side of the reactor. The hot coolant from the reactor side of the plant heats up water from the steam generator of the secondary system. This heat turns that water in the secondary into steam, and this steam is directed onto a turbine in which it spins rapidly. The turbine is connected to a generator where the spinning motion produces electricity through electromagnetic induction. After passing through the turbine, the steam enters a condenser where it cools off, usually from water from a river, sea, or a cooling tower, and it condenses back into liquid water. The water is then pumped back into the system to be reheated, creating a continuous cycle. The generated electricity is then sent to a transformer that steps up the voltage for transmission through power lines. And from there, it travels to grids, to homes, businesses, and your phone chargers. So that way you can watch more Beck the Schizo content. Now, let's get to some common myths surrounding nuclear power. Getting this out of the way initially, nuclear power is inherently super safe. Way safer than most things, in fact. Nothing else really comes close to the efficiency paired with the safety of nuclear power. And you're saying to yourself right now, I know you are. No, you are. You're saying, what about Chernobyl? And what about Fukushima? And what about SL1 and Three Mile? Well, I have this to say to you, you little... <laughs> Let's get into it, okay? Let's go look at deaths per terawatt hour, which is, you know, trillions of watt hours, you know, of power. Let's just get into it, okay? Nothing really compares at all to the safety of nuclear power other than solar power. I mean, hell, look at it. Even windmills kill more people than solar power does. And this is including both Fukushima and Chernobyl and all the other, you know, nuclear disasters combined. It's just, it's, it's that crazy, okay? It's that crazy of a difference. And you don't even care. You, you, you still are, you know, fear-mongering, you piece of shit. Mainstream media loves covering any awry nature or situation with a reactor plant, but they never cover any, you know, main huge global phenomena, such as, you know, the steel Clareton Coke plant incident. You know, or, you even know how many people died here, how many people got injured, or even that it was on August August 11, 2025, that just happened recently? Can you believe this? You don't care. You just care what the media shows you, don't you? You little piece of shit. You'll find you'll find you. <laughs> Did you know that one kilogram of uranium equals about one million kilograms of coal worth of energy production? It is one million times more efficient than coal at energy production. Can you believe it? And yet we're still using this crap. I also know that you losers love caring about people and question, what about the nuclear radiation workers? What's going to happen to them? Well, did you know that a nuclear radiation worker receives less radiation than a smoker? That's right. Smoking exposes you to radioactive lead-210 and polonium-210 which means that 1.5 packs a day, yearly, equates to about 300 chest x-rays a year. Man, I bet you look stupid as hell right now. <laughs> and for the stupidest myth of all, let's talk about nuclear radiation. Now, I know you absolute bozos think it's going to turn you into some death claw ridden piece of garbage from Fallout, but let's get real here, man. Let's just get so real. That's not happening at all. Radioactive waste is categorized into three sections, being a low-level, intermediate-level, and high-level waste, which is the one that you guys are all scared of all the time, you f***. 
Low level waste, such as, you know, like, gl uh, contaminated gloves or stuff like that, and intermediate level waste, which needs, like, a, a small amount of shielding, make up 97 to 99 percent of all rad waste. High level rad waste is only 1 to 3 percent of all waste. And, if you put it all together at once, you can fit it all in the size of a football field. That's it! Also, radioactive goo is not a thing. It's just not a thing. What radioactive waste is for high level waste is just a mixture of glass and ceramic mixed with a fuel pellet load so that way, you know, it just, you know, doesn't leak and it makes it more inert so that way it doesn't react with anything. This material is then stored in this giant freaking tube thing called a cask and it weighs thousands of pounds and they've even crashed a train into it to prove how sturdy it is. Anti-nuclear mongoloids love yelling at these casks, saying how dangerous they are, and yet over 95% of high level waste within these things, you know, just end up decaying. And by end of life of the plant, it's all gone. It's, it's, it's completely safe. This shows that if you believe that you can use this material again for nuclear weapons, you're stupid. And uh, you probably shouldn't talk about things like this anymore. <laughs> Anyways, you can just put this high-level waste underground safely. And how do I know it's safe? Okay, listen here, you piece of sh**. Chernobyl HBO series watching head ass. I know you love fear mongering and I love I know you just love looking at the news, okay? But the earth has done this for billions of years. Billions of years and nothing has happened. And so now we do it and you get all crazy, you lose your mind. How about you shut the hell up, get a job, and you know, contribute something to society other than your useless opinions that no one cares about, okay? How about that? How about we do that, okay? Stupid. Anyways, guys, like, subscribe, hit that bell, and, you know, comment below whether or not you want to see a follow-up episode on why Chernobyl was such an avoidable and stupid accident. Anyways, guys, have a good one. Also, uh, what's up? This is Beck the Schizo. I'm a submarine naval nuclear operator. Those are my credentials for this. Um, if you'd like to debate with me on this, uh, I have a Discord. And um, also, you can just uh, yell at me through Super Chat. So, yeah, hit me up on that. Uh, you guys have a good one. Um, I'll be posting some more stuff later. I'm working on some animations. I love you guys.